All right, NT8 on the porch. More high tech gear to baffle and amaze your asses. Just got back from a quick ride. Temperatures in the mid 60s. Uh, technically, I should be pretty warm. This stuff does its job. So anyway, the tent has arrived. Let me double check. 17 pounds. My world, the PVC knife, yo. Red verse instructions, and guess what? That ain't paper. All right, two white decals. How awesome is that? They'll fit right on there and match the colors. Let's see what else is in the box. Excellent. That's the tent. These are the ground tarps. I can see how tough these are because you're supposed to be able to park your bike on them, but you have to have a flat pad. <coughs> I'll probably use an empty bear can and smash it flat. Because I'm yellow like that. And I'll put some links up to the vids. That's one. They feel pretty, uh, pretty hefty. Bring in plastic bags. This is, this is the Red Verse tent. This is going to be so awesome. Oh my god, they tied a knot in. What the? There it is. Stand by for a setup video tomorrow. Here's what makes it so long. These are the the uh, the holes. Oh yeah, nice copper finish. Hell yeah. And these are supposed to be color coded, so you know where they go. That's a different tent. I really researched a lot of tents on this. But anyway, he shows how to pack it. In a, it'll fit in the top box. The poles will. And this should fit in one of my side boxes, but we're not going to do that because I've got a... Uh, I've got a bag coming that I specifically ordered, so I'm not going to run the top box this trip because I want to cut a want to cut the wind resistance down. It means I'm going to lose my gas bottles, but 
I'll fake it. This is really awesome. And I tell you what, I'm very happy with the company and their customer support. Because I got an email from them giving me the tracking number and I tracked it the first day and I thought it wouldn't come up with a number. So I waited till the second day thinking, okay, they just haven't picked it up from them yet. In fact, they had, but the company had destroyed, injured the uh, tracking label, so they stuck a new one on it. And uh, so as soon as I pointed out a flaw, the guy was Johnny on the spot. And I was like, better make this right, dude, because I'm going to be putting YouTube videos up on this tent. I don't want, I'd hate for you to look stupid. So, I got a sub from him. <laughs> okay. That's always cool. So, yeah. Got a handle. I've studied this tent for so long that I knew a long time ago this is the tent I wanted. And I kept trying to get cheaper ones, ones I could afford. But now I had the money to get this, and this is the bag that's going to make the August trip. And then when I go west next year, this is going to be the tent. And it also has a uh, place you park your bike in. Somebody asked me that? Yeah. It's got a garage, too, where you can work on your bike. But... It's Barbie. Now that it was fixed in Chicago, I shouldn't have to do any more work on it, right? Pretty awesome, I think. It's all right. Red burrs. You just have to figure out how you're going to carry it on your bike. Part of the plan with the uh, rear shock, the new front fork springs. Got to use your head on this shit. All right, from the NT8 on the porch. We'll talk at you later, yo.